Welcome to Gloucester and Rocky Neck and here at the Gloucester Marine Railways. This is a very informal uh, speaking program. Um, we wanted to get you up here and to see what, uh, what's happening in your backyard and what's coming to Boston and what's going to become the crown jewel in the center of the Four Point Channel. It's been a long time. Um, our guest speaker, as you saw coming up on the bus, is Leon Poindexter, who is here. He's going to be speaking at, after um, the team speaks. But I also want to recognize Viking, who is... Stand up, Viking. Give a little wave. Viking is the general manager of the Gloucester Marine Railway, <laughs> oldest marine railways in the country. There's not too many places around that you can do this kind of work and uh, be able to be able to have access to a shipyard like this and the people that we need. So, if I can, can you say hello? <laughs> we are not a yacht yard, uh, you know, we're a, a repair yard, a ship repair yard, and we're really proud to be part of, you know, the history of Boston in this area. Um, it's it just a fabulous project for us to be involved with. We're the right place to do it. We really are. You know, we really have the tooling that was meant to build ships like this. Well, next I'd like to say nothing would get done without the shipwrights. And I'd like to introduce my, uh, my two main shipwrights here, and uh, John Gardner and Rob Stevens. Well, I guess we didn't know we were going to talk either, but uh, thanks for all coming and giving us the opportunity to work on some wooden boats, which is what we enjoy doing. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of the history of these ships is that this one here is the beaver. It's the same beaver that was down there in Fort Point Channel before. Uh, one of the things we're trying to do with this project, since we had the opportunity, basically the, sh the beaver was not in good shape and a good portion of it needed to be taken apart and put back together again. So we've taken this opportunity to make the beaver much more authentic than she's ever been before. The emphasis on authenticity, uh, both in terms of the materials, the style, the ways things are put together, uh, it's remarkable and quite a difference from a modern construction project. My sense is that people want to feel and get a sense of the authenticity uh, of the experience uh, and what happened uh, around this very, very significant event in Boston history. Uh, and to try to pretend is not the right way to do this. Oh, it's, uh, it's a huge thrill for us because we know how meaningful it is for people in the city. Uh, for people across the country and really people throughout the world. I've, I've been told that the Tea Party event is that one event in the American Revolution that everyone across the globe knows about, uh, which is really impressive. And now they're going to have a place to go. So it's, a, it's just a real thrill for us to be involved in it with something that is going to have such an enormous impact on the public and will be so meaningful for the public. Um, I think that's the best part of, uh, of building one of these boats is uh, it's always nice to be involved on a boat that so many people are going to be able to be involved with. So many people are going to get to go on deck and, you know, and learn the history. And um, it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And that's, that's the best thing about it is, is being able to share it. Well, I think what we've seen here today on our tour of the, of the with the shipwrights is the authenticity is an underscore, unbelievable, down to the tools that are being used, to the coppering, it's all been right in front of our eyes. We see how that authenticness, which was so hard to recreate, uh, is there, so that when one, when it is in the water at the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum on Congress Street, we can say with great great uh, affirmation that it truly, truly is uh, true to the his historical replicas that we have in front of us.